Hi. So today we're going to be comparing four really great mastering compressors or two bus compressors. They're all great in both contexts. And so this is kind of a shootout or a comparison. I'm going to be going through the different compressors with the same piece of music so you can compare them. So what we're going to be looking at is the Pulsar Moo compressor, which has recently come out. This is an emulation of the Manly Variable Moo compressor, which is a famous mastering compressor. And then we've got another emulation of that compressor, or Capture is a better way of saying it, because this is a, the Acoustica Audio Magenta compressor, and their technology is not emulations, it's capturing. Uh, it's a completely different way of um, getting the sound of a piece of hardware. Um, I won't go into the details of that here, but it's all on their website. If you're interested, they do sound great. Um, so that's another uh, Manly Variable Moo compressor. Then we have the Acoustica Audio Ivory. I'm not sure what this is modeled after. Um, in fact, Acoustica don't really give away what they model their things after, but you can tell that the Magenta is um, based on the variable move from Manly because it sounds like it and also because it comes with as part of a package with the uh, Magenta EQ which is very clearly uh, um, based on the um, Manly uh, Massive Passive so that's kind of a strong clue that that's what this is but with the Scarlet sorry the Ivory rather um, it's not that clear to me what it's based on. Uh, somebody might know, um, but it sounds great in a mastering context and also in a two bus context. And it's a little different from the others in that it has a ratio. Uh, the others are all um, in uh, dynamic ratio compressors. So finally, we have um, the Plugin Alliance um, Brainworks SBL Iron Compressor which is another famous mastering compressor, and this is an emulation of that. So, uh, these compressors are all great in, on single instruments too, by the way, um, but in this video we're going to be looking at them in a uh, stereo mix, so you can compare them, I'm going to be going through them and um, on the same loop of music, so hopefully it'll give you a good uh, idea of what they sound like compared to each other. So, hope you find this useful, and uh, let's have a look. Okay, so here we have these four compressors which I'm going to be comparing. Um, they're four mastering compressors. They are all useful in a mixing context too, I find, but they are uh, primarily mastering compressors, and, and what that really means is that they're they act in a more gentle way. They're good for gluing a mix. Um, you can add some amount of punch with them, but then it's not really what they're about. Um, they're more about tonal balance and smoothing and adding weight, glue, things like that. So, um, on the more extreme settings, of course, you can get them to do other things, but that's, that's what they're famous for. Um, and I've set all of them up to similar settings to give a fair amount of a little bit of punch and, a fair and make weight and glue to the mix. And I've also set them so that they're all compressing round about 4 dB on the meter. Doesn't mean a lot actually because they're all a bit different and how they react. Um, so don't pay too much attention to that, but I try to get them kind of the same. And so we're going to now, we're going to play a track, and this track has. Um, two sections in the loop I'm going to be playing that vary, so it moves from something which is quite complex, contrapuntal type, complex rhythms going between two guitars and you've got drums and bass, and then it moves into a section which is a bit heavier and rockier, so you can kind of hear a bit of variety in how these compressors react to those two different sections. And what I'm going to do is to start by playing through the loop with each of the compressors. I'll start with this and I'll play through the loop with it in. First I'm going to play the loop with no compressor so you can hear it, but once I am start demonstrating I'm going to play it in, and then the second time through the loop I'm going to bring it in and out, so you can hear the, B, the A and B there, and then I'll move to the second compressor and do the same thing, and third and fourth. 
But what I will do after that is I'm going to then move through them much more quickly so you can compare them more quickly. But to start with, I'm just going to let you hear what these compressors do a bit more in detail. So we'll start with this one. And I'm going to play it now without anything, just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. Okay, now I'm going to engage this one. Just a quick thing here, these two particularly take a little while to engage once you've clicked the engage button here, they don't instantly come in, uh, and in fact neither does this one, just so you know it's not an instant thing. This one. Okay, so before I go through them in quick succession, I just have a quick, uh, my thoughts on this. Um, they all sound good. Um, this one does have a, a really uh, a more punchy than, than the others I find, and it's probably because it's not a very variable moo one. Um, this one does add a very nice low end and smoothness to everything. Um, 
They're all pretty smooth though in different ways. This one I found adds a real solidity and weight to the low end and so does this one. So uh, yeah, that, that was all my kind of thoughts in this in this context. Um, so now what I'm going to do is go through them more quickly starting again with this one. I'm just going to loop this one section because I think it's going to be a lot easier to hear compare them if there's just uh, not this variation going on. So I'm going to just loop this one area here. Here we go. And I hope that was useful. Um, they're all really, to my ears, really great mastering compressors and really useful for the two bus in general, uh, in even in a mixing scenario. And, and also, although they're not being demonstrated doing that in this video at all, I can tell you that they are all really useful for actual single instruments too. So I hope that was useful. And uh, if it was, please do um, subscribe and uh, give the video a like and I hope to see you next time.